Hello and welcome to this video on algebraic angles. Now there's two different types of problems we're going to be looking at. One type of problem is where the angles contain variables and we want to find the value of that variable. So how would we find the value of x given these angles in the triangle? And the second type of problem is where we want to find an expression for a certain angle. So how would we find an expression for this angle here in terms of x? So let's look at the first type of problem first, where we want to find the value of the variable. Now what do we know about the angles within a triangle? Well we know that they add up to 180 degrees. So we could add these three angles together. So we have x, and we add the 2x, and we add the 3x, and we know the sum of those angles is 180 degrees. And now we've formed an equation which we can solve. So we just need to simplify the left-hand side. Well, 1x plus 2x plus 3x, that collects together to give 6x. So we have 6x is equal to 180 degrees. And then, well, x is being multiplied by 6. So to undo the times by 6, we divide both sides by 6. And that gives us x is equal to 30 degrees. And that means that angle there is 30. That angle is 2x, which is 60, and that angle is 3x, is 90, so it's 30, 60, 90, and it's a right-angled triangle. What about this triangle here? Well, we aren't given that top angle. However, it does indicate that these two lengths are the same, which means it's these triangle. And you remember from the previous video on isosceles triangles, we can put our two fingers on those two marks and slide them away from each other in the same direction, and it means that these two angles are the same. And that means, well, this angle of 2x minus 10 must be equal to this angle of x plus 30. Now, this is a linear equation we need to solve. We've got x's on both sides of the equation. And you remember, we collect the x's on the side with more x's. Now, there's more x's on this side than this side, so we're going to get the x's on the left, which means we don't want that x there. So to get rid of that x, we just subtract x from both sides. So that gives us x minus 10 here. And now that x has disappeared, leaving 30. And then we can get rid of that minus 10 by just adding 10 to both sides. And we get x is equal to 40 degrees. And that means this angle here is x plus 30, which is 40 plus 30. So that angle is 70. That angle would also be 70. And then that angle must be 40 in order for those three angles to add up to 180 degrees. Now let's use our principle to solve this problem as well. We want to determine x. We've got these three angles of 3x, 3x plus 5, and x. So again, if we just add up the three angles, x plus 3x plus 3x plus 5, and we know that they sum to 180 degrees, because that's what the angles in a triangle sum to. So if we just simplify the left-hand side, where well, we've got x plus 3x plus 3x, which is 7x plus 5 is 180. Now, x has been multiplied by 7, then you're adding 5. So we're going to get rid of the, the plus 5 first by subtracting 5. So we get 7x is equal to 175. And then to get rid of that times by 7, we divide both sides by 7. And that gets us x is equal to 25 degrees. And then we could always find what these three angles are. That angle is 25. That angle is going to be 3 times 25 plus 5, etc. Now on to the second type of problem, where we want to find expressions for angles in terms of algebraic variables. So we've got this isosceles triangle here, let me just copy it, and we want to determine y in terms of x. Now, if there's an angle of y here, because this is isosceles, those two angles are equal, so that's also y. And we could do the same thing as we did before. We could say these angles add up to 180, so we've got y plus y, that's 2y, plus that x, we know is 180. Now we want to get y in terms of x, so we now need to make y the subject to the formula. So y has been multiplied by 2, then we're adding x, so we want to get rid of that plus x by subtracting x. So we now get 2y is equal to 180 minus x. And then we want to get rid of that times by 2, so we divide both sides by 2. So that just becomes y, and this, we can either put the whole thing over 2, or we can divide each individual thing in the subtraction by 2. So 180 divided by 2 is 90, and if we halve this, we get half x. So it's 90 minus half x, but you could have also written 180 minus x, all of it over 2. What about this next one here? We want to determine expression for the angle ABC, so that's that angle here. 
Now what we could do is we could introduce an angle y here and then we could say, well, that angle of y plus the x plus 30 is equal to 180 and then make y the subject. But let's do it without introducing a variable. Well, we know that this angle is 180 minus that angle. So this angle here is going to be 180 minus, and be careful, do you remember, whenever you subtract an expression, you need to put it in brackets first, because we're subtracting all of x plus 30. So that gives us 180, we're subtracting x, so minus x, and we're also subtracting 30, so it's minus 30, and that simplifies to 150 minus x. I've got a little mental trick for this, and you just think, well, what do I need to do to x plus 30 to get to 180? Well, 180 on its own doesn't have an x in it, so I know I need to subtract an x, so the minus x and the x cancel. We've got 30, but we actually want 180, so we need to add on 150. And you can see that matches with this expression here. So just to give another example, if this was equal to 70 minus 2y, and I want to find this angle here, well, I know they have to add up to 180, so what do I have to do to that to get it up to 180? Well, I don't want the minus 2y, so I cancel that out by putting 2y. And the 70, I want to get up to 180, so I have to add 110. And then that will work, because when you add these together, the minus 2y and the 2y cancel, and the 70 plus 110 add to 180. So that's a quick way of doing that. What about question four? So we need to get y in terms of x. Now there is a quick way of doing this. If you remember that the exterior angle of a triangle is the sum of the other two interior angles, so we know that y is 3x minus 15 plus x plus 5. But let's say we were doing it the long way. We initially were to find this angle here by subtracting these two angles from 180. So if we add them together, we get 3x minus 15 plus x plus 5 is equal to, well that's 4x minus 10, and then, to get that remaining angle of the triangle, we'd subtract that from 180. So 180 minus, notice the use of brackets, 4x minus 10. Well, that's going to be 180 minus minus 10, which is 190. And then we can see we're subtracting 4x, so that would simplify to that. So we know this angle here is 190 minus 4x. And then to get y, we just need to do 180 minus that angle because these angles are on a straight line around a point. So y is 180 minus this angle here, 190 minus 4x. And that's going to be, well, 180 minus 190 is minus 10. And then we also have the minus minus 4x, which becomes plus 4x. So we get 4x minus 10. And can you see that angle there was the same as when we added these two angles earlier to get 4x minus 10. Now for this last type of question, we want to do a full geometric proof. And a proof is just a sequence of statements that justifies the thing that you're trying to prove. So we're already told that y is 2x, that's already given to us, but we need to show how to get that. So let's do it bit by bit. Well, this angle here is x, so can you see, if these are parallel lines here, we can use alternate angles. Like, can you see this z here? That's a z shape. So the angle between these two lines, x, must be the same as the angle between these two bold lines. So that is also x. So we need to justify that. So let's refer to that angle. That is angle ABC. So angle ABC is equal to x. And we need to give a reason, as alternate angles are equal. Now, we know that this is an isosceles triangle because these are marked to the same length. And therefore, if we slide our fingers away from each other in the same direction, we get to these two angles. So that angle must also be x. So we can say that angle, that's BAC, that angle there, Angle BAC is equal to x as base angles of an isosceles triangle are equal. And then we could always get to this angle here by doing 180 minus these two angles. But do you remember that little trick where the exterior angle of a triangle is the sum of the two other interior angles? So we can immediately say angle ACD, which is equal to y, which is equal to x plus x equals to 2x as the exterior angle of a triangle is the sum of the other interior angles. And our proof is complete.